試合はトーナメントルール残り頭部顔面の肘による攻撃は認められていません Here we go, Frank. I'm picking Pitbull. You? I'll take Musayev. Okay. Friendly wager. Let's see what happens. America's Either better. way, we're both going to win, so. America's better. It's <laughs> <laughs> Azerbaijan versus Brazil. In the ring, Canada versus the US. That's the last one. Side, switching his stances. Pitbull trying to figure him out. Pitbull not backing up. Stalking from a little bit closer. Every movement gets a little bit closer. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Give us one thing. Something. A jab or a kick. Yeah. Jab. Left hook. Nice right hand landed by Pitbull. I didn't see the face or something. It was a hard punch. He turned his chin. He didn't, didn't see the face. So it's kept in the same position. Doing the same thing. Oh, a beautiful right hand. Anybody Pipple's got him in the corner right now. Musayev froze for a second. Surprised Pipple didn't follow up. Smart, perhaps. But Musayev now got out of that corner. And a left jab there by Pipple. That speed is ridiculous. So you have on his toes, in and out, in and out. Waiting for his opportunity, looking for an opening. Pitbull not giving him one. So he is going to have to create an opening for himself. Very patient, both guys. No one's over exaggerating yet, no one's getting frustrated. Well, think about how many title fights Pitbull is in. He knows how to pace himself. Answer for a moment. As soon as he brought his left leg forward, Pitbull hit him. Hit Musa with a kick. Combination now there by Pitbull exploding onto his opponent. Inside leg kick. Working different angles, chopping away the leg, Frank. Nice left hook there by Musayev. Right hand attempt there. Less than two minutes to go here. Opening round scheduled for three. 2019 lightweight Grand Prix Finals. Keep dipping right into the right into that pocket, but he's throwing that left hook on the top of it. So quick, you know, both guys are firing off direct heavy hits for both for both of them. Very well there by Pitbull. Tight, tight defense on Pitbull. Clearly not his first rodeo. In an awkward and bad position, he's able to defend like that. Once again, he's able to work in the punch. Oh, that's a beautiful right hand drop. Pitbull, Pitbull, that edge is back. He hurts him. Drops him in a takedown attempt. So you have less than one minute to go here, opening round. Nice job. He saw he's getting hit. He knew he couldn't stop Pitbull. Pitbull's more dangerous than he's hurt. Let's <laughs> see take down. Pitbull reverses it. He gets on top. Now it's Musayev putting Pitbull in his guard. Cut. Musayev's face is cut up there. Those two guys just landed some strong leather on each other. Musayev did take down out of desperation. Where Pitbull was trying to have control. 
And as a result, you see the headlock right at the end that puts Tipple on top. He's sort of just holding on. He sees the timer. He knows there's only 18 seconds left, so he's trying to hold on as much as he can. That's an interim Pitbull there. He's punching away there. Musiev's like, you know what? Oh, what a head kick. Face kick there. Musiev gets the takedown. Pitbull tries to... Musiev now with the hammer fist to close off the round here. He's on top here, trying to go for that finish there. Throwing bombs, and it comes to an end. Oh, and a late punch there by yeah. Musiev. He gets in after the bell. Now we got to calm him down. You got to cut nose. Yeah. We got to see how he acts. He's spent a lot of energy. We have ourselves a fight here, Frank. Joe, can you see Pitbull's corner? I can't see it right now. I'm looking right now. They're just waving. They're shaking his limbs out right now as we speak, keeping his arms loose, wiping his face down. Wow, that punch hit him right in the, behind the ear. And Pitbull came up swinging. Good, smart move by Tavid for the takedown. He just didn't finish it correctly. But gets on top. Is he able to clear his head for half a second? Okay, so live action. Looked like all those punches landed. And the only punch that landed was the one after the bell. No. All the other ones missed. Second ball. Second ball. Seconds out, please. Seconds out. Red corner, seconds out. Red corner, seconds out now. Now. Thank you. Don't mess with Lenny Hart. <laughs> Ordering Musia's oh, corner. Out. Here we go. Round number two. A lead high kick against Pipple, but Musio says, you know what, let's see what he's got. No real reaction from Pipple other than just getting out of the way. Focus on the beginning of round one, feeling out process in round two. Ele parou, é isso aí. Ele para você é pit bar. Body kick by Pitbull. takes that right back up. Using the momentum, yep. Beautiful first to there and a left hook there by Musayev. He was like, all right, yep, we're going to fight. Let's do this. Yeah, good old-fashioned ruckus going on. Yep. Different look in Pipple's eyes than before. He's showing a bit of respect now to Musayev. You see him a bit more fatigued now after with those, I mean, obviously with those exchanges in that first round. And there's a right hand landed by Pitbull. That would hurt him. Oh, and there's a, he slips the left hook, goes in for a takedown here, driving his opponent into the ropes. Okay, got his hands locked. He's just a little bit of a turn, he'll take him down. So what's he going to do with it once he's there? Oh, Pitbull slides out of the ring, Frank. Okay, now the question is, is he running out of the ring? Or is he to get driven out of the ring? Different. Yeah. He's calling time. Let's check on Pitbull. Oh, Pitbull saying he's hurt his shoulder. Oh, this cannot be the way we end this Grand Prix, Frank. <laughs> uh, this place will riot. Oh, no. But it's his own fault. He hand walked his way out to the edge. His arm, his neck. It's his shoulder, Frank. Let's see what happens here. There is the drop there in the left shoulder. He's crawling out. Oh, he's crawling away. He's crawling away. And then gets taken or pushed in by Musayev. No attempt to save himself. It's a little silly.
I just want to see how the left arm landed there. Not able to see that, Frank. Sorry. They're giving a yellow card to Musayev's corner. Musayev is suffering the yellow card because his corner went in there to try and help. Oh. It looked like he went to help. And he okay. So I believe they're giving the gentleman with the blue shirt on yeah, a hat. yellow card. So the, yes, it's a yellow card for interference. Yep. Respect there by Musayev. That was a point better, but here we go. Continuing the fight here. Jumping me there. There it is again. I wonder what that yellow card does to Musayev's mind now. He's got to pick up the pace, kind of. He really does. Triple not changing his stance, Frank. Very patient, very experienced. Left kick to the body coming. There it is there. Once again, Musayev catching it, dropping his opponent down on the ground. I look for him with those hammer fists. Hammer fists. I look for uppercuts. Pitbull gets up to his feet. Musayev once again takes him down. Pitbull on his going through the ropes again, Frank. Musayev controlling the veteran. Well, you saw that coming too. Yeah. <laughs> Musayev now is in Pitbull's corner. Pitbull keeping his arms in close, trying to keep his hands away from the ropes. Doesn't want to get a yellow card himself. He needs to get dragged, so we still need to drag him out of the corner. Because the corner's actually like that. Bounce him. Bounce him off the rope. And then Pitbull needs to get the hands unlocked and turn his face as quick as he can. Switching his grip now after Pitbull broke his grip. He goes down to the ground. 45 seconds left. He takes away the bow or the base of Pitbull. Trying to get control of the head. There's no way he's going to get a choke from this one. No. Not on Pitbull. Pitbull in danger of completely losing this round now. I think Pitbull was complaining as a punch in the back of the head, and as he was complaining, yeah. Musiev hit him with a left hook. 20 seconds to go here, Frank. Round two, scheduled for three. You believe Musayev is pulling away with this fight? Look at this. He is. He's... 10 seconds to go here, Musayev. Throwing the combination, up. yep. Musayev was, he had him in the corner, he backed out of the corner, let him give him the space. Dangerous now he's got an <coughs> Interesting to note here. Very interesting to note here how the judges may be looking at this so far. As a fight overall, Musayev, in my opinion, is clearly running away with this fight. I agree. But what's the yellow card do? Now you, it's a question of the percentage of purse and then how the judges are looking at it. What a great takedown right there. Nice little knee tap. And look how quick Pitbull is to get back to his feet every time he gets taken down. Oh, wow, that did hit. That right hand snuck right through. I was wondering why uh, Topeka was backing off as much as he was. Good thing he had his arm out there. Yeah, that would have that blasted his head really off his shoulder. Really ugly. Oh. Nice body kick there, but caught by Musiev. Musiev has a very good ability, a very thought, very good thought press about how he's going to be able to chase him way down, what's going to do with him. I mean, he takes advantage of everything as it comes through. Second out. Who will walk away with this belt this evening? 
Lenny's having a wonderful time this evening with these corners. <laughs> Every single one of these corners is trying to give their fighter an advantage by staying in a couple more seconds. Oh, yeah. You know, it's all a game. I'm surprised there's not more ice on the canvas at this point. I think it's safe to say you and I would be the worst corners in MMA. I am absolutely worst in MMA. Here we go. Final round. It's just strange to me. It starts off slow. It's like the first and the second round. Starts off slow, but business picks up. Ooh, Pipple got lazy with that shot there, Frank. He almost ate it. He almost got a left hook to the jaw. He slowed down. It's a good punch there. Musayev just throwing some bombs there. Pipple answering back with his precision. Wow. And a takedown there by Musayev. Every time he throws that leg kick, he gets caught. He lands the kick, he gets caught, and trips to the ground. Drag him off. Drag him off. Pipple's got to break those hands. His hips are right. He's done a good job with it. Don't let him out. I'm finding it very strange he does let him out there. He's Every winning, time. He's get, he's, I mean, he's winning most of these exchanges. Pipple slowed down pretty much here. I don't blame him, to be honest. So they're still bouncing around. Pipple timing the little cap kick. And a body kick there, but a left hand landed by Pipple. Have we seen... I don't think we've seen Mushev go this deep before, right? We haven't seen him go to the third round. He's gone to the yeah. Okay. yeah. Looks like it's Musa hunting now, or is it Pitbull playing possum, waiting for his opponent to come too close and launch an attack? Pitbull's scary. I would never think that he's tired or hurt or backing up. Anything he does backwards is a possum. Nice left kick there, or left hand, sorry. Musayev ducks underneath it, tries to get that single going, but Pitbull defends it very, very well. Halfway through the final round here. Can Tofik Musayev pull off the upset? Or will the wily veteran experienced Pipple Freire pull off another spectacular victory? I have Tofik winning to this point. Tofik with the combination, oh, he and he cuts he off him. He's jumping down. on the ground. He's trying to go in for the finish, but no, Pipple is able to spin it away. Camera fist coming down here. Less than two minutes ago here, Tofik Musayev trying to pull off the upset. Up kick there by Pitbull. Settle in, get past the legs, now ground and pound. Pitbull gets full guard. guard. All that action up in guard. So to this point in the fight, I have I have defeat Lucia to win this fight. Right, so now I'm in a position where I see that Pitbull's got to get the finish for this to be for him to win this fight. Referee trying to agree or disagree? No, I completely okay. agree. He's got to be able to finish him. That break kind of probably was better for Musayev. He's able to reset, gets to his feet. Careful, he's in the face again. Pitbull back to his own feet. Combination there thrown by Tofik Musayev. Just over a minute to go here. And this is the most dangerous right now. Spinning back fist by Pitbull. Left hook landed, right hand landed there. More punches being landed by Musayev. Pushing Pitbull back into the corner. Pitbull responds back with a beautiful knee. 45 seconds to go here. Look up. <laughs> Don't check the time now. Just run. Pipple's got to pick up the pace here. He goes in for a takedown. We'll see him defending. Look for a knee to come up down the middle here by Pipple. And instead, it's Musi F throwing the knee. And Pipple's exhausted, Frank. Musi F is content to stay here. Yeah, 100%. Time's running down. Unless people think that yellow card earns him the victory. We're just over 10 seconds away here. These footstomps are not going to end this fight for Pitbull. 
I firmly believe he's got to do more. His corner's yelling at him. Go, 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 go. More. And that is it. Pipple's got his hands raised in victory. He thinks yeah. he won this fight here. I don't believe he did. I believe Tufik Musayev emerges victorious in this fight. I think so too, but once again, yep. 2019, gotta go to the judges. There's Pipple, his head in the corner, exhausted, absolutely exhausted. He was the heavy favorite coming into this Lightweight Grand Prix, there's a right hand right through the middle, a left past the guard there. Musayev's precision was on fire this evening. Biting down on that mouthpiece. Dropping. And I thought the at this point, champ. I thought the fight was going to be over right there yeah. when he knocked him down. That's how tough Pitbull is. He came back up and got it put together. Oh, Pitbull is fantastic. Unbelievable. Amazing. Banged his head into the camera on the other corner, yeah. though. There's Tufik Musayev right in front of the broadcast booth there with the Azerbaijan flag. Proud native of the country. Officially putting them on the map this evening, that's for sure. He's been doing it before, but tonight he gets that belt wrapped around his waist. He will be the 2019 lightweight, lightweight Grand Prix champion. Here we go, Frank. The judge's decision forthcoming. And he lost 20% of his purse because of the yellow card. First judge gives it to Musayev. Aka Musayev. Azerbaijan's Tofi Musayev earns a unanimous judge's decision victory, becoming the 2019 Ryzen Lightweight Grand Prix Champion. That's how I saw it. I agree. Um, yep, there's the ambassador. We saw him earlier walking. 